The seventh edition of the Panasonic India Open is back once again at the Delhi Golf Club. It's only ever had one non-Indian winner in the past, so it's no surprise that the 2017 Panasonic India Open title was clinched by local hero Shiv Kapoor. Finishing three strokes ahead of seven players tied for second, this victory would mark his first win on home soil, a second in 2017 and his third career victory. What an incredible 12 months for the 35-year-old who also welcomed his baby girl this year. The Indian currently leads the Panasonic swing with 2,665 points. Social media was full of praise for the Panasonic Open India champion, including some from India's Jeev Milka Singh. The 45-year-old also tweeted that he had to pull out of the Panasonic India Open after a tendon injury. Despite getting himself back in shape for the Resorts World Manila Masters the week after, the six-time Asian Tour winner hurt his elbow after round one and had to withdraw from the tournament. We wish you a speedy recovery, champ, and hope to see you soon. But the one who made headlines at the Panasonic India Open earlier that week was Australia's Terry Pilkadaris. After making bogeys on the 15th and 16th, Terry had a birdie opportunity at the 17th. But when the putt did not sink, Terry had enough. Pilkadaris isn't proud of his actions, but hey, we're all human. Some fans showed their support with positive comments on social media. We've all had bad days, even Masters champions. You are not alone in this, Terry. Moving on, the Asian tour headed off to the land of biodiversity, the Philippines. It was time for the Resorts World Manila Masters. A breakthrough win from Michael Lauren Shin, Son Clinch has made an Asian tour title after a playoff. The 20-year-old was tied for second at the start of round four, and he got a two-shot penalty on the first due to an extra club in the bag. However, he came back with eight birdies in regulation and birdied the playoff hole to win. Congratulations, Micah. Earlier that week, Australia's Scott Barr proved that he has what it takes with a brilliant opening 64 to share the lead at a Resort World Manila Masters. Producing the best round of the year, Scott was simply overjoyed. But one of the most memorable shots was produced by local hero Justin Kiban at the final hole. From the way the track mark marks are, it appears... It must have skipped. We saw it skipping in the water. Did it come out? No, nah, that's incredible. What a break. On the previous episode, Eurasia Cup's Europe team captain Thomas Bjorn sent a message to Asia's team captain Arjun Atwal about bringing his A-game to KL next January. Well, it seems like the Asian team captain already has a strategy and is not fooling around. Um, if you see any of uh, you know, the Ryder Cups, Presence Cups or Eurasia Cup, the team that makes more putts usually ends up winning. And I think my team, even though it's not formed yet, I would think the guys that are going to be on it are going to be great putters and you know, we're going to rely on that. So here's the current projected Asian team under Captain Arjun Atwal. With the season still going strong, lots of opportunity for others to work their way into the lineup. As you can see, it'll be a tough challenge as usual. They go up against Thomas Beyond's world-class team. January can't come soon enough. Meanwhile, the Asian tour heads to the UBS Hong Kong Open next week, so don't forget to catch the live broadcast from the 23rd to the 26th of November. Catch you soon and goodbye for now.